everybody, Terrell here, and today I'm going to be going over what I do to nebulize a snake um, here at my house. Uh, why I would do this is you get a snake or you have a snake that ends up getting an upper respiratory infection, and we're talking a mild infection. Nothing, nothing too severe, and you want to you know, treat the snake, you may have a vet appointment and it's a couple days away, so you wanna make the snake as comfortable as possible. So what you're gonna be doing here when you're nebulizing is basically using a disinfectant, which I use called F10, to help break up some of the mucus in their nasal cavity and in their throats so that they're able to breathe a little better until you can get them to the vet if it's something severe. Now I have nebulized snakes before in the past that it was, you know, a simple respiratory infection. I caught it soon enough and the nebulizing worked and there was no vet trip needed. So today I'll just be going over what I use. Uh, I use a Reptifogger, which I got online for about $45 new. Um, and it comes with all the stuff here, minus the F10, which I also got online from Triple L. I believe it was like $12 for the bottle. So you're gonna be putting in, what I use is about a cap full here. And just pour it into the water. And you don't have to shake it up or do anything further than that because it'll actually start to bubble and it makes it harder for it to get through the, the fogger when you set it up. And I use warm water just to make it more convenient for the snakes so you're not just dumping cold water all over them. And put the lid on the bottle and I am wearing gloves simply because it's cleaning day here and you know this snake is much better than when we got her uh, doing the nebulizing but I don't want to be touching any of my other snakes you know with a snake that's sick so I can put this on here and then it's gonna fill up the basin and so you just let that do its thing and then you have your plastic tubing here and what I use to hold the snake is just a Rubbermaid tub and then I cut out a hole for the tube. Just pop that in there and there you go. So this girl, she's definitely not as bad as she was. I'll post up a picture when I got her. You can't even hear uh, that she has a respiratory but I'm just doing this uh, for a couple reasons to show how we do it and just to make sure that you know, it hasn't picked up again and she's doing better than she was. So now that it's done filling up the basin, take my lid off and then just Okay, so you can kind of hear it a little bit. She's got a little mucus left in her. But there's no more bubbling or popping or anything like that. That would really worry me that I would have to take her to the vet. And when I, I'll put the picture in the corner here, but you'll see that it was pretty bad. It's probably the most mucus I've seen come out of a snake before. So now that she's in the top, close it up. And there's no air holes in here simply because the uh, F10 will vent out and then it's kind of a waste of the fog that you're trying to make and she's only going to be in here for about 20 minutes and it's a pretty big tub so she'll be fine in it and then you're going to turn this on all the way to max and I don't know if you'll be able to see it but it'll start to foam up And then it'll start doing its thing. So yeah, and that's pretty much it. So you leave her in here for 20 minutes and then uh, come back and turn off your fogger. And then that's pretty much it. Okay, Google. Set a timer for 20 minutes. It 
And there you have it. So I'll come back in 20 minutes and pull her up. And we're back. Here. So, oh shit. That off. So while I was doing this, uh, in the time that I wasn't recording, I went and disinfected the tub with chlorhexidine, uh, rinsed out the bowl, and added new bedding. And the F10 is actually a veterinarian disinfectant that you can use to clean the tub as well, but I have a bunch of chlorhexidine and that's what I prefer using. So that's what I did there. Now, I'm gonna look at this girl. I'll try to get a close-up of her face. Yeah, so now she's going to be dripping in F10 and water. But that's not that big of a deal. And some people prefer to wipe them off afterwards. I usually don't. I'll just let them sit in it and in a couple days they'll dry off. And that's pretty much how you do it. So I'll put her back in here. Yeah, so just to go over, uh, use a Reptifogger, uh, the veterinarian cleaner F10, which you can both get online, a Rubbermaid tub. And um, like I said, you can use the F10 as a disinfectant to clean the tub too, just to make everything more sterile. But I use uh, clarhexidine instead, and that's pretty much it. So if you have any com uh, questions, leave a comment below. Uh, if you like the video, give us a like. And we also wanted to know if you guys were interested in seeing more videos like this, or if you wanted us to see do more collection videos, or pretty much anything that you'd like to see from our channel. All right, that's it.